Hi kids, my name is Sam Topper. I'm a forester with the Delaware Forest Service. The Delaware Forest Service is a government agency under the Department of Agriculture. We work statewide to take care of trees and all tree related business. Um, I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about how you become a forester and what we do. You may wonder what a forester is and how one becomes a forester. I'll tell you a little bit about both. Um, myself, I grew up in a rural area in Pennsylvania. I spent a lot of time outdoors recreating in forests. So when it was time for me to decide on a career, it made sense for me to choose something outdoors. And forest was one of the first things that came to my mind. At that time, I didn't know that forestry was a career. What are the things you need to do to become a forester? Most foresters do have a four-year degree from a university. There are some foresters out there who have no degree, just experience. There are some foresters out there that have a two-year degree. The level of the degree that you have generally dictates um, how advanced the work you do in that field will be. For example, no degree folks spend all their time out in the woods, um, no supervisory roles, and just basically collect data under the supervision of a more qualified forester. And it follows that trend up to the top. So my degree is from Penn State University. Delaware does not have a forestry university, um, but Virginia does, West Virginia does, New York does, and Pennsylvania does. So we don't have to go too far. Uh, my degree is in forest management, which is a science degree. So my curriculum in college focused heavily on math and science, statistics, geometry, um, algebra and a lot of the natural sciences, biology, chemistry, dendrology and those sort of things. So a very heavy in science, math related degree. Um, for you kids who might be considering something like that, I would encourage you to start focusing on your math and science now. Foresters do a lot of different things. I see forestry careers a lot like I look at lawyers and doctors. They're all lawyers and they're all doctors, but they all specialize in certain things. You know, doctors might specialize in the heart or in the skin, and lawyers might specialize in real estate or in environment or criminal law. Foresters are like that as well. Um, there's a few buckets of foresters that that I look, see. Um, one is your field forester. They spend all their time in the woods collecting data and actually implementing the plans developed by other foresters. Um, there are government foresters like myself. Government foresters tend to focus on things like legislation, enforcement of environmental laws, and also into research. Uh, there are research foresters who do just that. They generally work for universities or science um, companies or the federal government and they specialize just in collecting research and doing studies to advance the science of forestry. Um, there are some other types of foresters like urban foresters um, who specialize in those forests that occur in the, in the city and it's much different than what a forester like myself, a traditional timber forester does. So you can still be a forester and live in the city or you can still be a forester and live in a coastal area. Where you live depends on what kind of forestry you want to do, but generally speaking, there's opportunity for foresters everywhere in the country. So what do I do? Um, I'm a government forester, so I work a lot with legislation, with enforcement, and with what we call technical assistance. So I do permitting. Um, I help landowners and loggers follow the law when they're doing forestry projects like timber harvesting or wildlife management. Um, I also provide technical assistance, so one of the services that our government provides is that we help landowners manage their trees. So if they have sick trees or they don't know what to do with their woods or they don't know how to get more wildlife, they can call foresters like myself and we help give them advice. One of the things that foresters also do is firefighting. So we help protect forests in all different ways, not just the wildlife and the habitat and the soil and the water, but also the trees themselves. So often foresters are among the most common types of careers you'll find in firefighting. And we do also do firefighting and prescribed fire as part of forestry. So what does an average day look like for me? Um, 
that's one of the things that I like about this job is we do so many different things that there's not really an average day. Um, I do repeat certain processes every year seasonally, like in the spring we do planting, um, in the summer we do firefighting, and in the fall you know, we do other types of habitat um, management, and in the winter we do logging. So we have a seasonal cycle, but day to day it could be anything. Um, I spend roughly 50% of my time in the office and 50% of my time out in the field. Um, that balance is going to be much different depending on what specialization you have and also um, how far up you are. Um, the more advanced your degree, likely the less time you'll spend out in the field. You'll do more time supervising and doing paperwork and research. Um, so the newer you are in your career or the lower your degree is generally the less time, the more time you'll spend outdoors. When I first started doing this, I was outside all day every day and I barely saw a computer. Now I spend most of my time or at least half of my time at a computer doing online mapping, GIS work, budgeting, proposals, meetings, that type of thing. So that's the thing that I like most about the job is the variation. Um, the thing that probably is the toughest about the job is that office time, that computer time, that science time. It's not an easy job. Um, there's a lot of you know work and continuing education that you have to do to keep up with it. So you have to stay good on your technology, you have to stay fresh with your math, and you have to continue to learn new skills. So that's probably the most challenging part of the job. It is, like I said, a degree that transitions through time and through effort um, from a simple job to a more complex job. So in careers like that you do see competition for advancement and you do need to give yourself an edge. Generally that edge in the forestry career is use of technology and your comfort level with technology. That'll give you an edge over some of the other folks. If you go into an interview and they ask how much experience you have with ArcMap Online GIS and you say plenty and you know your competitor doesn't, that's going to give you an edge. Uh, how do you get that edge, that experience? Uh, you either study it in school or you do internships or both. Uh, when I was in college I had two internships for the university on their experimental forest and I worked as an intern for a consulting firm and that was the job I had first out of school. That consulting firm hired me when I graduated. So yes, um, there's some competition and it definitely rewards um, folks who take initiative. So to wrap all that up and to just give you a little bit of advice on if you're interested in becoming a forester or exploring forestry, Pay attention in your math and science, do well there in school, particularly in high school, that'll set you up well for your college. Um, spend time outdoors. It's not just about your book knowledge in the woods, it's about your comfort level. And stay physically fit, uh, because we have to work outdoors a lot. So if you do all those three things, I think you'll be positioning yourself well. And then when you get to a point where you, know, you may be interviewing or talking about those internships, um, be honest about your experience and be willing to take initiative and go the extra mile.